in the brain, as in many organs, there are stem cells, and they're found in, a, they can be found in a dormant or quiescent state and an actively dividing state. And I think one of the biggest questions in all systems is what mediates this transition from a quiescent to an activated state. And so in part, this is cells that are inside the cells, so intrinsic signals, but there are also extrinsic signals or signals from the niche or microenvironment that trigger this activation. So we're very interested in this question. And we've identified um, several different compartments of the niche um, that mediate this, including signals from the blood vessels, um, signals in the brain from the structure in the ventricles called the choroid plexus, which is a novel compartment of the niche, and then also neurotransmitters seem to be key regulators of um, proliferation in this area. So I think that's one of the great hopes of all stem cell biology is can we either use stem cells to replace damaged cells in the brain or harness endogenous stem cells. Um, so we, we think that harnessing the endogenous stem cells would be an attractive approach. So certainly there's already some element of self-repair in the brain, so with stroke and with um, demyelinating diseases. It's known that the stem cells are triggered to divide and start to differentiate. But clearly the long-term integration of new neurons and oligodendrocytes is something that um, needs to be worked out.